Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to Being Guru Electrical Channel. This is Mujib Raza. Today we will discuss magnetic contactor. So before going to start the video, if you are new in the channel, so hit the subscribe button and turn on notification by clicking the bell icon. So now let's start. So magnetic contactor. When you pick up any magnetic contactor, you will see this unique part number. This is the part number which differentiate one contactor from the other. So now let's see what is mean by each individual letter of the part number mentioned on the contactor. So the first one is L. So each contactor start with the letter L. If you check in the Schneider Electric brand, so first letter must be L for the magnetic contactor. Then the second letter C shows us that this contactor is for AC. On the other hand, we have DC contactor. For the, for the DC contactor, we have mentioned here LP. So this is LC, so mean it is AC contactor. Then we have in the third place we have mentioned one. So it may be either one or it may be either two. So one is mentioned for non-reversing contactor. And two mentioned for reversing contactor. So what is non-reversing -re contactor? If you give A B C sequence on the input side, so it will give you same A B C sequence on the output side. While in the reversing contactor, if you give A B C sequence, it will give you A C B sequence on the output. So this is one. So it is non-reversing contactor. Then we have mentioned D. So this D may be either F or D. So this is D. So this is normally used for the control of motors. Then we have 25. So this 25 mentioned ampere rating of the contactor. So this 25 ampere is AC3 rating, which is normally used for the motors. For AC3 rating, uh, we already have one video on the AC3 and AC1 rating. So you can check in our video section. Then 8 is mentioned for the 4 pole. We have 8 terminals so this is a four pole contactor is if this is lc1 d25 it will be a three pole contactor if it, it is lc1 d258 it will be four pole contactor so we have phase one phase two phase three and neutral so in this contactor we are controlling three phases including the neutral so this is so we have uh, four number of power contacts at the input and for number of power contact at the output now let's see the control so now you can see here 13 14 mentioning no so 13 14 are the control auxiliary contacts for normally open contacts so if you need normally open contact for control so you can take 13 and 14 for normally close you can take 21 and 22 for the normally close operation then we have uh, the supply coal voltage A1 and A2. A1 and A2 are referred to the coil voltages and this coil voltage may be 24 volt AC, it may be 24 volt DC, it may be 110 volt DC, it may be 20, 220 volt AC, it may be 220 volt DC. So depending on the voltage, that voltage should be applied at A1 and A2. Upon applying of voltage at the A1 and A2, so the power from this side will through this contactor and it will run the machinery or the motor so like this we can control our motors and at the same time it will give us normally open and normally close contacts so this is about magnetic contactor if you have any question uh, you can put in the comment section down like the video, share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.